Hello, hi, uh, Mitch here again at Two Guys Auto Repair. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a 2014 Chevy Impala. Uh, it's got the 2.5 four cylinder in it. Uh, complaint uh, as it comes in is uh, uh, stalling and dying, uh, generally uh, holding even, be it on the freeway or in town. Uh, Anyway, it comes in, and we're going after, uh, first, you know, doing a scan. Uh, we've got a 331 knock sensor. Got a 411 secondary air. We've got a 101 uh, MAF, maybe. Uh, a 106 MAP, that's a maybe. 171 lean. And we've got a 324 knock. Now, of those... Uh, of those codes, probably the ones that, uh, you know, we kind of honed in on, of course, is a mass airflow, uh, uh, the manifold uh, vacuum, and a lean. Anyway, so uh, scan tool, data stream, everything looks good. Uh, we lab scoped, you know, went the extra mile, lab scoped it. Uh, it's fine. Clean the mass airflow. Took it for another drive. Yep, sure enough, idled fine. I'm just saying that's that's what's odd about this. It would always idle fine. It would always restart and idle fine. But sure enough, going down the road, uh, you know, if you're in town holding 30, um, all of a sudden you'd kind of feel it uh, bucking and losing power and, and would die. So anyway, came after it, uh, came in and thought, well, you know, we've got this, uh, we've got this 171 code, the lean code. Uh, so I uh, ran a smoke test on it and sure enough leaking out of the intake manifold. Pretty simple fix. Uh, later we'll just kind of show you we've got everything apart, you know, kind of sorry about that. But I, I'll, I'll point out what fasteners you go after and kind of, you know, where they're at. But pretty simple, don't need to do the gasket, don't need to pull it off, cinch it down. Uh, cinch it down and all is well so it's an easy fix uh, but just know that if you've got those symptoms that more than likely all these other codes it's kicking uh, really aren't going to get you there uh, so once again this is kind of more uh, on symptoms and you know just kind of how it acts on the test drive uh, anyway uh, we'll get to the uh, showing you where these fasteners are and uh, long and short of it I hope that helps Thanks. Yeah, so now I'm going to get into the actual fix portion of this. Uh, top cover, fastener, 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 uh, and of course the oil cap. Air breather. I'm sorry, I've already got this stuff removed. Uh, you're going to get rid of your uh, get rid of your mass airflow. We went ahead and took it off of the air filter box. Uh, you've got a eight millimeter down here on this guy here and then you've got a quick disconnect on the breather hose right there anyway uh, so the main fix that you're going to be going after uh, which you can be done once you've uh, got these other covers off uh, I'm going to just point it out to you real quick and these are the fasteners you're going to go after uh, there's one sorry there's one over here on the edge got one up through here one up through here, got one up through there, and then there's another one kind of over here on the edge. Uh, with any luck, you were able to uh, able to see that. Anyway, cinch those uh, cinch those down, and uh, anyway, that's the fix end of it. Thanks.